I don't know. It, it's kind of, like, emotional to think about because, like, you know, like, I don't... That's, like, the, that's the person I've been running from my whole life. Like, because, like, once the drugs are gone, you're still that person that does all those things, you know? A drug is just, like, a symptom of our disease. And... I'm sorry. Meet Andrew Nelson, age 18. He started doing drugs when he was 12 and moved on to prescription painkillers before he finished middle school. The things I would do to myself to get those pills, like I would starve myself just because I knew that if I had food on my stomach, the high wouldn't last as long. Six years and two bouts of rehab later, he has found himself here at the McShin Foundation, a residential treatment facility in Richmond where he has been clean for seven months. McShin's been here since 2004, but began to serve a younger population when it became the first in Virginia to offer a recovery high school program starting in January this year. Andrew was the first student to enroll and will graduate with a high school diploma in just a few short weeks. Right now, overdoses are the leading cause of accidental death in America, and we're trying to combat that. Director of Youth and Family Development Stas Nowitzki is well respected by the students he oversees at McShin because he can relate to them. He's been clean for over two years now, but not long ago, he suffered from an addiction too. For him, it was heroin. My friends had started doing heroin, and up until that point, I was super against heroin, I was super against needles and everything like that. And then I tried heroin, and, and my thought became like, I don't like needles except unless I have heroin in them. That led me down the rabbit hole of addiction even further. And then I would just degrade it into petty crime and, and general mischief on a daily basis because I was constantly seeking out drugs. And when you have a habit that's over $100 a day, it's very easy to, to take that route. Nowitzki first came to McShin seeking help too, and he never left. He says McShin taught him that recovery is worth enduring, and the peer-based support in its community is responsible for his success. Students like Joe, whose full name will not be used since he's still just 16, agree. Like, I have better relationships here because, like, you know, we're all addicts. Like, we can all relate on that level. You know what I mean? Like, I can't even, like, relate to my parents. Like, I can relate to, like, Stoss and Andrew. Andrew will leave McShin to pursue a full-time job next month, and Joe says he plans to play soccer in college after he graduates. But both students agree that their recovery is not without its challenges. Some days are harder than others. You know, like, the thought's always there. The urge of getting high is always there. But, like, the difference is, like, I can, like, the thoughts are just thoughts. I don't have to act on them now. I just know that, like, if I, like, sh like shoot for one thing before my recovery, because anything I put in front of my recovery, I'm going to lose. So really just pursue my recovery and then reap the blessings. Kaylee Wells, Anna Akins, and Lindsay Cates reporting.